with Mrs. Myers. I hope you like my background. Today is Disney Day. And if you don't know already, I love Disney. I grew up going to Disneyland and I am a huge fan of all things Disney. Whether it's going to watch a new Disney movie like Frozen 2. <gasps> Have you seen that one yet? <laughs> or going to spend time at Disneyland with family and eating all the churros and going on all the fun rides and wearing my cute little mini ears. I absolutely love Disney. And so today I'm so excited to dress up and do this cool virtual background with you. So we're going to go ahead and keep this background up for a little bit until we do some spelling and then I'm going to have to take it down. But we can do our warm-ups with our cool background. Are you ready? All right friends. Let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and warm up those hands. It's time to rhyme. Clap one time. What's a rhyming word? Rhyming words. Sound the same at the end. Very good. Now, I'm going to give you two words. Give me a thumbs up if they rhyme. Thumbs down if they don't. Ready? Here we go. House, mouse. House, mouse. Do those words rhyme? Yes. Very good. Cloud, proud. Cloud, proud. Do those words rhyme? Yes, very good. Loud, load. Loud, load. Do those words rhyme? No, they don't. Very good. Month, mouth. Month, mouth. Do those words rhyme? No, they do have a sound at the end, but I'm hearing one that says, Un, and another one that says out, and those don't rhyme. Here's another one. Gown, crown, gown, crown. Do those words rhyme? Yeah, very good. Here's our last one. Wow, vow, wow, vow. Do those words rhyme? Yes, very good. They have the ow sound at the end. Nice job, friends. Let's do our next warm up. Warm up your hands. Good job. It's time to segment. Clap two times. All right, we're going to do the first sound and then sound the rest away. Here we go. The word is couch. Say it with me. Couch. Sound it out. Ouch. The word is pounce. Say it with me. Pounce. Sound it with me. Ounce. Pounce. Very good. The word is pound. Say it with me. Pound. Sound it. Pound. Hound. Very good. The word is now. Say it with me. Now. For sound. Mm. Ow. Now. Last word. The word is power. Say it with me. Power. Sound it out. Our power. Good job, friends. Let's do our next warm up, warm them up, warm them up. It's time to substitute. Clap three times. The word is hound. Say it. Hound, take out, substitute, hound, the word is found, good job. The word is found, say it, found, take out, substitute, pound, the word is pound, very good. The word is pound, say it, pound, take out, substitute, round, the word is round, very good. The word is round. Say it with me. Round. Take out r. Substitute s. Sound. The word is sound. Very good. Let's do one more word. Warm up. Warm them up. Warm them up. Up to the top. Up to the bottom. It's time to add. Clap four times. Now we're going to go ahead and add and make compound words. Remember, compound words are two different words 
together to make a new word. Here we go. The word is house. Say it with me, house. Add the word bird at the beginning. Bird, house. The word is bird house. Very good. The word is brow. Say it with me, brow. Add I. The word is eyebrow, just like this. The word is boy. Say it with me, boy. Add cow. The word is cowboy. Very good. All right, friends. That's a good amount of warm-ups. Let's go ahead and warm up those hands all the way to the top, top of the castle, all the way above the castle. Very good. Clap one time. Awesome job, friends. All right. I'm trying to find a good position where my face stays in line. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and read a story to you. And as I read the story, I want you to listen for the special sound in the story. The special sound today is an interesting one because even though we've practiced the sound before, we're going to learn a new spelling pattern for it. So let's go ahead and practice. Listen for the special sound today. Here we go. Carlos has a new camera. When he takes pictures, his camera makes a clicking sound. It goes like this. In the garden, Carlos takes pictures of caterpillars crawling on kale. At the zoo, Carlos takes pictures of camels, ducks, and kangaroos. In the park, Carlos takes pictures of his kids flying kites. Can you help Carlos take pictures with his camera? Let's do the special sound together. Let me see your camera. Ready? Do the sound with me. Again. Excellent job, friends. In our story today, we heard the special sound. Excellent job. Now we know that this sound can either use the letter C. Let me see your C's. C, C. Your turn. C, C. Or we can use another letter. We can use the letter K. This is the K in sign language. Ready? K, K. Your turn. K. K, but some words that have the k sound are spelled differently. I'm going to go ahead and unfortunately take off our virtual background of our beautiful castle, but I'm only doing this so that you can see my whiteboard that I have so that you can see the very special, um, the very, the board so you can see the special um, spelling for today. Let's see. There we go. Welcome back to reality. <laughs> All right, today we are learning that the sound is spelled with two letters. There they are. Ready? My turn. C K makes the sound. C K makes the sound. Do it with me. C K makes the sound very good now there are also words that the k sound can have another spelling i'm actually going to move this over there's a k but the k sound can have another two letters these two letters are C, C makes the sound. Let's do that together. Do it with me. C, C makes the sound. Very good. Let's use purple for this one. All right. C, C can come up in words like hiccup or soccer or raccoon, which I know some of you know that spelling raccoon. Let's go ahead and practice some words. Let's practice our CK sound first. Ready? Let's 
The word is suck. Say it with me. Suck. Ah. Uh, suck. Again. Ah. Uh, and I know today we are learning that these letters make a sound. Let's say it together. C K makes the sound. Let's do another one. The word is black. Say it with me. Black. Like my shirt is black. B. B. A. K. Again. B. B. A. K. The word is black. And our special sound today is C K makes the sound. Very good. Let's try another one. I know some of you play this sport. The word is soccer. Say it with me. Soccer. Ah. Again. Ah. Er, soccer. And today we're practicing. C, C, make the sound. Let's do one more. Ooh. The word is raccoon. Say it with me. Raccoon. R, A. Ooh, mm. raccoon. Sound it again. R, a, k, oon, raccoon. And today we are practicing C, C makes the sound. K. Very good, friends. All right, my loves. Now is the time for us to do some spelling. If you don't have one already, you need a whiteboard and marker or pencil and paper. If you don't have one, go pause the video and grab one now. If you have one ready, we're writing four words today. Four words. I'm going to leave our spelling up here. One, two, three, four. Here we go. First word. The word is snack. Say it with me. Snack, as in I like to eat a snack before bedtime. Snack. Sound it out. Mm, a, k, snack. Again. Mm, a, k, snack. Okay, let's spell it together. Ready? First sound. Next sound. Mm. Next sound. A, a. Last sound. Now, which one am I going to use? CK or CC? Which one looks right? CK. Very good. Snack. Now, if you want to challenge your brain, go ahead and put your dots under your sounds and put a square around your special spelling today. Mm. Ah. I'm going to use my blue marker. CK. This is blue. Awesome job, friends. Today we're learning CK makes the sound. Next word. The word is, ooh, we practice this word together. The word is, no, I'm going to give you a trick one. The word is truck. Say it with me. Truck. Like I drive a truck to pick up my groceries. Truck. Sound it out. R, a, k, truck. Again. T, r, a, k, truck. Hmm, there are two letters that make that tr, tr sound. It is not C H R saying no, no, no. That's so silly. What two letters make that tr sound? T R, very good. But remember, that's two sounds. Next sound. Uh, uh, uh. 
Very good. Last sound. Which one are we using, CK or CC? Mm, CK, very good. Awesome job, friends. Don't forget to put dots underneath the sound and put a square around your special sound today. Sound it with me. R -uck, truck. Very good. Next word. <laughs> the word is. Ooh, we practiced this one already. Let's do this one again. The word is soccer. Say it with me. Soccer. Like, as in, I watch my students play soccer on the weekends. Soccer. Sound it out. Soccer. Soccer. Again. Soccer. Soccer. Let's go ahead and write it out. First sound. Next sound. Ah. Next sound, are we going to use CK or CC? CC, very good. Uh, er, what sound, are, what two letters make that er sound? ER, very good. Put your, your dots. Uh, er, soccer. And we're focusing on? C, C, make the sound. Very good. Here's our last word, kind of a tricky one. The word is hiccup. Say it with me, hiccup. As in, I had a hiccup in the middle of class. Hiccup. Now it with me. It, up. Hiccup. Again, it, up. Hiccup. Let's spell this together for sound. Next sound, if, if, if. Next sound, CK or CC? CC, very good. If, next sound, up. Last sound, very good. Let's put our dots. If, Ah, uh, it's up. Uh, very good. And we've noticed that CC makes the sound. Now I want you to look at where these letters are in our word. I'm noticing that CK is it at the beginning, the middle, or the end. Show me with your hands. Is CK at the beginning, middle, or end? It's at the end. Very good. What about CC? Is that at the beginning, the middle, or at the end? Show me with your hands. Beginning, middle, or end? CC is usually in the middle of a word. So when I'm trying to decide, which one do I use? CK or CC? If I hear at the end, at the end, I use CK. But if I hear in the middle, if I hear in the middle, then I use C, C. Excellent job, friends. We're going to go ahead and read a story. And after the story, I have a fun video for you to watch. It's Kids versus Phonics. And I know a lot of my friends really like Kids versus Phonics, but I want us to read our story first. After that, we'll go ahead and watch our Kids versus Phonics, okay? All right. There we go. Let's go ahead and read our story. This one's really short. After we read our story and watch our Kids versus Phonics video, then you get to go on your Google form and fill in your work. I'll go ahead and read this story. Today we're looking for CK and CC for the sound <laughs> My turn. Nick puts on his shirt and tucks it in. Then he pulls on his new black socks over his feet. He checks his backpack. He packs a snack, then zips it shut. Nick looks at the clock. It's almost time to leave. He gets in dad's truck quick, and they go off to school. 
Now I heard at least one or two words in here that has a k sound, but it doesn't have a CK or a CC. So make sure you're really looking. All right, my loves, thanks for listening to this story. Let's go ahead and watch our video for kids versus phonics. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and switch over my screen. There we go, so that you can see it. There it is. All right, enjoy the video. Here we go. Kids versus phonics. Duck. Black. Black duck. A clock. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock clock. <laughs> Red socks. <laughs> A flock of ducks. Get up, Buck. The flock. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> Red socks, red socks, red socks. <laughs> Frogs on the rocks. Red socks. Flap to the flock. In the end, black duck buck in the back of the flock. I love those videos. They are super duper silly. All right, my darlings, I'm going to go ahead and have us pause right here. Let's see if I can bring my castle back. There it is. All right, my darlings. We're gonna go ahead and pause right here. I hope you have a great, awesome Disney day. I know I am. I really wish I was at Disneyland, but I think later today I'll probably watch a Disney movie be, and get into the spirit of things. Remember tomorrow is sports teams and I can't wait to see your outfits. All right, my darlings, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.